Hey, this is OXDF, and today we're doing the Sans Holiday Hack 2024 Elf Connect. Uh, this is one of the first terminals you're going to run into the game, and uh, it involves, it's a JavaScript uh, web-based connections game, kind of like the New York Times game that's very popular. Um, I play it every day. Um, and uh, there's some just real simple JavaScript analysis we'll do to hack it. And uh, yeah, let's go take a look. Um, so within the game here, you're going to have, this is kind of the standard setup for Holiday Hack. Um, we've got Angel Candy Salt standing next to a terminal here. We can get talk to Angel Candy Salt and get some story. Uh, but really, we're going to click on the terminal here. And I'm showing the game part of this because there's important, there's a couple of real important things to know when you start doing JavaScript kind of analysis, source analysis uh, on these kinds of games. So um, the game here is set up, pops up in its own window here. This is actually an iframe within the game window. Um, and the game is to find the four groups of four and select them. Um, so you can see we could do like, uh, let's see, Blitzen, Prancer, Comet, and Vixen are all reindeer, and so we got 100 points for that, and they all selected up. Um, we can solve this legitimately. In fact, my blog post will have the legit answers for this, but uh, that's no fun. Let's try to hack it, right? So um, we're going to the dev tools. Um, I always get the dev tools by just right-clicking and picking inspect. I think you can also hit F12. Um, inspect is actually going to pop it up here. Um, looking at the uh, inspector, if I make this bigger, See, it's a very noisy screen, but this is the, the DOM itself, and you can see whatever I clicked inspect, that's what we're going to see. We get the CSS for it, etc. Um, that's not what we want to look at here. I don't know, can, I get, can I get that to go away? Uh, okay, good enough. Um, I want to go over here to the console, oh, not console, debugger tab. Um, I'm using Firefox. It's called Sources in Chrome if you're in the Chrome one. Otherwise, it's very sim similar. Um, and so here I'm going to see all the files that came down with this web page. And the web page itself, the uh, is the index page right here, and uh, I can hit these brackets to make it pretty print a little bit. Although it's not looking, it's still looking kind of messy. Um, it's actually cleaner in Chrome. I didn't. This is the first time I've run it in Firefox. Um, it's much cleaner in Chrome. That's interesting. Uh, I think if I'm on the right page. Oh no, I'm not. This is the whole point of my showing you this. Um, so this is actually the uh, page for the main outer page. And if we look in here, uh, if we go back to our sources here, you'll see we have the page coming down here through this canvas. Uh, here, here's the iframe. So we have an iframe div, which loads, an iframe is just like an a page embedded in a page, and we have that here. Um, and we can see that's uh, hac 24 elfconnectholidayhackchallengecom uh, So if we go back here to our debugger, we actually want to get into the Christmas world game here. There is that game, and here is the index. Um, failed to load this URL. Well, that's bizarre. Um, benefit of doing this stuff live. Um, Let's just go back here and refresh the page and see if we can get this. Oh, we're going to need to open up the terminal. There we go. Cool. Boom. Okay. So now we have the page. This is the page for the iframe. And the reason there's not, this is worth knowing about because you have to know, A, know to go look in this place. The other thing is if you do anything in the console, so one of the things we can do, let's see, let's check this out. Um, uh, round check, storage, set, set, we're using a, Session, session storage. Um, let's go down here. So we have this thing called a game. So like we can come down to the console and write game. Um, oops, let's see. Oh, I auto, I, so G A M E. Whoa, gadget. A M E. It's auto filling here. I don't like that. Um, it doesn't really want to let me type game. Um, let's try something like that. Word set. Um, doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. And the reason is because if you look way down here in the bottom right corner, it says top. I want to click on this, and this is going to actually show me the context I'm running in. So I'm running in the context of that top window, um, and that's not where I want to be. I want to be in the Christmas World game. So if I switch there, um, on Chrome, it actually sits right up around here, same spot, but it just the same thing, top versus picking the context, but um, it looks a little different. But uh, with that, now if I do something like game, uh, I get, look, there's an object. If I do word set, so I can see, here's word sets, these things are defined. Um, now I'm interacting with the JavaScript that's actually set and running on the page. And so you, it's very important to make sure you get that context right. I'm actually going to close this because one of the things I actually like to do, um, I'm going to have to go back, is get this and open it in its own window. And that way I don't have to worry about worrying about the context and if it changes or not. Um, we can get that by opening up the dev tools, inspecting it. And you can see, let's see, right here, iframe source is equal to. So we could copy and paste this. Um, I've also got a Tamper Monkey script, which uh, is on my GitLab. Uh, you can go grab it right now if you run Tamper Monkey. That just adds this button right down here at the bottom. If I close it, it goes away. But when this pops up, the button's here, and then I can just click the button, 
and it takes whatever was in the iframe and opens it up in its own window. And in theory, yep, so here we go, we're in our own window, we got this. The nice thing here is now if I right click on here and do inspect, the brow, uh, when I pull up this tab, see here, the inspector, uh, debugger, there is no, the main thread is this thing. There is no um, different context or whatever. We just have to worry about this. Um, so we're gonna start with that. All right, so now that we're oriented, we've done all this just to get the source code up. Uh, let's see if we, oh, do we have to run this again? Um, I'm not sure why Firefox is liking to crash on this. Here we go, we got it up though. Um, scrolling through here, what immediately jumps out to me is this const of word set. And so we're setting the variable word sets to be these lists of 16 words each. And in fact, the 16 words that are on my screen right now are the ones in the one. So um, that's good. And then just right below this, I've got set one, set two, set three, set four. Um, I've got correct sets and what looks like indexes. Um, now we could look through and see where these are used, but right away, I've got a, I've got a pretty good guess as to like what is the, it's probably like word zero, five, 10, and 14 all go together. I um, mean, I could start to look that up. So like tinsel, one, two, three, four, five, garland. Yeah, they are, already tell you, these are feeling similar. Um, so what I want to do, well, the first thing we can do to hack this is just to say, well, what if we want to print out the, them in groups? And uh, whenever I write JavaScript like this, I'm not good at JavaScript. So I go to ChatGPT now and I say, hey, can you write me the code for this kind of thing? And so I'll give you the sets and I'll say, make me some JavaScript that prints the groups. Um, and uh, it replies and it says, hey, Here's, here's what you got. And now it always likes to say, oh, you gave me this fake data. I'm gonna put the data in there so that you can run this as a standalone script. Um, I really only need these last four lines. So I'm gonna grab those last four lines here and copy them, paste it in here to the terminal and run it. And you can see, so what we've done is we've gone, we've got the correct sets. So we've got these sets, these groups, and we're gonna do a for each set. So one, two, three, four. We are going to take the set and we're gonna map taking from the index. So from zero, five, 10, 14, into word sets, that's this, the round, so in this case, we're in round one, so it's gonna take this list, the index, so zero, five, et cetera, and it's gonna give me that list. So it's gonna be the list of just the ones that are match this first set. Then it's gonna join them with comma space, and it's going to print that to the console. And that's exactly what we get here, print four prints. So we're looping over each set, we get four prints of four words. Uh, we could now go in here and say, oh, we now know it's tinsel, garland, stars, light. We can come in here and uh, find those things, tinsel, where, I can't find, garland, uh, horse light, and what was the last one? I, I've already forgotten, it's not the point of this video, but let's see, star, 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 boom, and now we got it right. Um, love the audio sound effects um, there. So that's like the step one of hacking it, it's like, oh cool, we just, we can get it to print the answers for each round. Um, and that's fine, but like, I don't know, that's still a lot of clicking, um, so let's look a little bit more closely at the code and what it's doing. Um, so I'm scrolling down here a little bit, and the thing that eventually jumps out to me, I'll say pretty quickly, is box on pointer down. So we've got this list of, we're looping over 16 boxes. Um, we're setting their positions. We're setting their size. We're setting if they're not selected. And then we're setting an on pointer down. So we're saying, if this thing is clicked and the pointer is down, run this function. And so we can see, if it's not selected, we are going to set the style to be darker. We're going to set it to be selected, and we're going to push this box onto a list called selected boxes. Now, selected boxes is defined. Where are selected boxes defined? Uh, let's see. Copy, find, paste. Uh, we're on two of eight. Here it is. It's defined to be an empty list to start. So that makes sense. We start with no boxes selected. As we click them, they become selected. If it's if we click on it and it's already selected then we're going to set the background color back to the unselected. We're going to set so selected equals false. And we're gonna basically update the list of selected boxes to remove this box. So we're gonna remove it from it. Then regardless of that, if the length of selected boxes is four, we're gonna call check selected set on this scene. Um, now one thing that's interesting is we don't really have a this here to deal with. Um, oh, maybe we do. Uh, I could be wrong on that. No, this scene doesn't exist. Um, but this actually falls within, if we scroll up here, let's see. Um, I took kind of a guess here. And I don't, I can't remember exactly how I figured this out now that I'm saying it, but there's, uh, if we look at game.scene, it exists and it looks like it's the scene data. So I'm gonna say, if we wanna call check selected, we're gonna just call it on game.scene. Um, or, I, like that would work, um, is there another one? 
Uh, oh, here's, I noted that's a good, and you can note that there's this main scene as well. So, and what is the main scene? Uh, it looks, that actually looks better. That's what we're going to use. Um, I don't know the difference here between these two, but we're going to give it a go. Um, so, what does that look like? Let's grab our, let's grab our JavaScript we had before, and we're going to modify it some. Now, before we were kind of just loop, we were just taking the, the sets of answers four at a time. We don't, now we want to say set for each uh, index. So we're going to get an index off of a set. And we will, let's see, uh, open up a new function here. And go here. So now we're going to say const word equals, and we'll say word sets, whatever round we're in and then index. So now we get the index. And then, uh, let's see, so now we'll get uh, const word box is equal to word boxes dot find, and we'll take in a box, and we'll say box dot text is equal to word. Basically, we're going to say find me the word box that, that has this word. So now we've got, we start, we start getting the word out of the list and then we get the word box from that. Uh, now we can say selected. Now we always, in, if we were writing like production code here, we'd want to write much more error checking and handling and all that. Um, I'm just going to assume this is working because I'm going to be sitting here and if it fails, we're going to deal with it right away. Um, so word box like that looks good. So we're going to push it on there. Uh, we'll say word. Oops, let's go. Let's let's keep it with our indentation. Uh, word box dot selected equals true. Now again, in theory, it could already be selected. We'd want to unselect it. I'm just going to leave that for the. You know, I don't need to worry about that now because I'm sitting here. Uh, and we'll say um, if selected boxes dot length is equal to four. I probably, I write too much Python. I need, I need parentheses there, or, yep, that. Then, check select set main scene. Boom, looks good. We'll tab you in, and we need, oh, that's, that looks good there. I think we need one more um, close, 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 like that. I'm going to grab all this, because certainly I'm not going to get it right on the first time. Um, let's also... In fact, we'll just, I have an idea. We will move this to dock to bottom. We will lift, raise you up, and we will run this. And we've completed round one. It just like that, you saw we just we completed round one. Um, uh, whoa, how to get out of the console? Let's go console. Um, paste you in. We've completed round two. Wait for the wait for the window to show up. And we've completed round three. Wait for the window to show up. And we've completed round four. We've completed Elf Connect. Now this only gets us the silver salt. It doesn't get us the gold salt. And the reason is because our high score right here is 1,700. Um, I don't know how, how we got the extra 100 points there, but uh, we didn't get we didn't get 50,000, which is the, the main challenge here. Um, so let's go back one more time. There's actually this is actually much easier than everything we've done um, because. To come back in here to the debugger and grab our index, it's going to be there. We will reload the page and get this. Um, I'm actually going to break this back out, except for window. Pull it back onto this monitor. Um, one thing you can always do for a thing like this is like, is there a score variable? And there is. So we have a score variable. Um, we're going to get that out of session scores. We have a high score. Um, so the question that I always want to ask is, so like, what's my score right now? Oops, let's see. Whoa, S C O R E, thirteen hundred. Uh, what happens if I say score is equal to two thousand? Uh, nothing. Nothing still. Uh, what if I run check select set main scene? Nothing still. Um, what if I get four right here? Uh, let's see. So. A C T P S M T P F T P and D N S maybe. Oh look, now our score was thirteen hundred, but then it got went up to two thousand. Just updated the display, and now it's got uh, twenty one hundred like 
the right, it actually added another 100 to it. Um, so now if we come down here and say, what about check score equals 50,001? Um, that's not going to update yet, but we we want to check, we want to like see if we can do that. So let's pick, uh, I'm actually surprised getting any four doesn't work. Um, let's see, let's run this check select. No, that doesn't seem to update us. Uh, but we can come here and just get one more thing right. Ethernet looks like a, these are like layer two protocols. That's a layer two protocol and uh, point to point. And boom, all of a sudden now we have 50,101. So um, the score variable was the way to really go and hack this more easily. But uh, yeah, so many ways to pull apart this game. Um, it's lots of fun to dig into and uh, hopefully you learn something and uh, talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.